Hey everybody. Well, it's a nice balmy 52 degrees outside right now. I don't know about you, but uh, I notice the older I get, the, the harder it is to take this cold weather. Um, I guess I need to cheer up because it's only going, only going to get colder from here on before it gets warm again, right? But uh, I'm back out here at this old abandoned park. And primarily today, I'm going to use the uh, Bounty Hunter Time Ranger. And uh, I know last time I was out here, I tried using it, and uh, I realized I didn't know what I was doing. So I hung it up, and I brought the AT Pro out. Uh, since then, I did a lot of reading and studying, and I had a lot of help from folks online. And I have a much better understanding of what I'm doing with that machine. So I'm going to use that primarily today. Uh, the AT Pro is with me as backup. But um, we'll see what we can find. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm a little concerned. I only just got here and uh, it's already started to rain. And I wasn't supposed to do that today, but the uh, reason why I'm concerned is because this Bounty Hunter is not water resist resistant or weather resistant. Uh, or, yeah. So I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit longer. Uh, if this rain doesn't stop, I'm gonna have to put that machine away. And I'm just gonna have to stick with the AT Pro again today. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do, and I don't know why I haven't, haven't noticed this before, but right up there is a set of steps that come down into this park. And uh, I don't like getting that close to those houses, but I'm going to take some time and go around those steps and see what I can find. So uh, um, you'll see it when I find it. Alright guys, I uh, didn't have the camera running when this happened, <laughs> but I found a nice old big piece of iron here, and I don't know where that's from, it's got six uh, screw holes that are countersunk, and that's thick. I don't see any writing on it, but if there is, I'll, I'm going to take it home, if there is, I'll clean it up and I'll find it. All right. On to the next. Alright guys, uh, I've been spending a lot of time in this park, and uh, or around this, these steps in this park. I got a bunch of cans and I uh, marked those off with a bounty hunter, so I'm not really picking those up anymore. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of these. I'm getting a lot of these nails. You know, I don't need those, but uh, I might have to. I might have to call it quits around uh, around this park, at least with the bounty hunter, because the rain's starting to pick up again. Uh, and I really don't want that. I, I'm enjoying learning how to use this, but uh, I think I'll put the bounty hunter back in the car, and I'll continue the hunt with the AT Pro getting rain on my glasses uh, so uh, we'll keep going all right guys uh, that is a deep hole it's about 10 11 inches and it goes right underneath the slab of concrete I'm holding around that again with the AT Pro but uh, I got a signal there it is. And I really don't know what it is. I, I can kind of make out like an X mark right there. It looks like a screw went in there. I don't know. It almost looks like it could be a, a pocket watch part. But I really don't know. I also brought that up. Nice old piece of glass. I don't know if it's that old. But you may be asking me, uh, 
So why aren't you wearing gloves? And uh, there's a very simple answer to that. I don't know. Well guys, it stopped raining again. And uh, because I wanted to primarily hunt with uh, the bounty hunter, I, uh, I'm going back to the car and I'm going to grab it again. So, on we go. Next bounty hunter target. Four inches down. And it rings up like a coin. But the bounty hunter also says that this uh, part of the ground is highly mineralized. There you go. Bounty hunter find. Next signal for the bounty hunter is about four inch deep. It says a 50 cent piece, which in my mind could also be a piece of uh, aluminum can or, or something. Hey guys, so Bounty Hunter said it was a 50 cent piece. I was guessing a an aluminum can. I win. Can slaw. Alright guys, I just want to make note of this. Uh, Bounty Hunter makes a big distinction between a pull tab. It's got its own little slot. And it's separated from a nickel and a zinc and penny and a screw cap. See all that? Now, uh, pretty much on the Garrett, if one of those rings up, you, you're guessing it's either a pull tab or a coin. But this actually is narrowed down to a distinction. And whether it actually works that way or not, I'll find out with time. Pretty cool. That is a tent peg. I've never found a tent peg before. It's too bad it wasn't on my bucket list. I, I just uh, noticed this tree. It's a big old pin oak. But it's been here a while. I've never noticed it before. I didn't hunt it last time I was uh, hunting this, so it's right up in that area. So. I'm going to maneuver my way that direction and check around that tree yet. This was also a non-bucket lister, but I was impressed that it picked up on it. It looks like a disposable razor blade. I've been out here um, last time I checked going on four hours, about 15 maybe 20 minutes of that I've hunted with Garrett. Uh, just because it was raining I didn't want this to get wet but the rest of that time I spent with the bounty hunter and um, I'm getting to know it uh, quite a bit better uh, I think part of my problem is I have the Garrett mindset and I'm expecting this to act the same way and I know it's not going to but I found a lot of trash with this so far see all that found all that with the bounty hunter so far I'm running out of room in my pouch. I would like to leave some room for some good stuff. So, I think I learned what I can with this today. And uh, the rest of the time I'm going to go with, with the Garrett. That is a Memorial Penny. Give me a minute here. It's a Memorial Penny 
that was four inches down and it's a 1985D which means it should be zinc right but it's not corroded so go figure well I just found some kind of interesting it's a full collar it's hiding under some leaves it's got a rabies vaccination tag on it and it's so chewed up so beat up I can't even make a date out on it so Oh wait, there it is. It's uh, right up there at the very top by the hole. It's uh, 2014. So, of course, judging by this collar, it wasn't very old anyhow. Now I'm hiding around this very large dead pine tree. It's like two pine trees stuck together, but man, the, the base is very big. And I just dug what looks like a gear of some sort or it might be a handle on something, I don't think so, I think it's a gear I really don't know what that is or what it would be from that's cool, I like it Alright guys, I came back up around this tree. I thought I'd detect it with the garret and see uh, what the bounty hunter missed. Well, I came over here to the cedar tree. And, uh, look what I dug. You see what that is? That's a, I would say it's a toy gun. But in fact, you can put an eye out with that. That is a BB gun. That is a BB gun. So I don't know, do I really want to count that as a, a bucket list or real gun? <laughs> Maybe it's a subcategory of BB gun, right? I think there's no danger of putting your eye out with that anymore. That is cool. Alright guys, I'm going to keep going. I'm still around that cedar tree that I found that BB gun out. We got another signal here. That is a, well, another Memorial Penny. Uh, let me get a date. Well, it's hard to tell, but it looks like a 1971. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, guys. This is cool. I believe that is a button. I can't see if there's a pattern on it. The back is like uh, there was iron in there, like maybe the shank was iron and it rusted. But I think it's a two piece button. It almost feels like it's hollow inside. I'd like to get that one cleaned up. If it cleans up nice, I'll uh, try to get some pictures up of it. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Well, this one's going to have to be the last last one I find. Uh, I dug what I believe is a 22 bullet. Now, I've fired thousands of these, but I don't know if I ever saw one outside of its brass. I don't think it's a pellet. It may be. But whatever it is, it's the last dig for the night. Well, that was it, guys. Uh, 
I had a lot of fun today. I really had fun learning how to use that bounty hunter detector. Uh, with every detector there is a learning curve and I'm still in that learning curve. But from the last time I used it till today, uh, I learned an awful lot. I know a lot more about today than I did before. Um, but it's been off and on rain today. Uh, and I eventually decided I had better just go ahead and get it under cover and finish my day out with the Garrett. So, um, <laughs> I had a really well-known English metal detectorist tell me that, uh, I just need to throw that bounty hunter in the back of the cupboard and just use the Garrett. Uh, honestly guys, I'm really enjoying how to use this Garrett. It is not an introductory machine by any means. Uh, I think he's just jealous he doesn't have one. Eh. Anyway guys, uh, I pulled that Garrett out and I started using that. And I know that machine a lot better. Uh, I know the sounds and numbers better. And um, as soon as I pulled that out, I started finding nicer stuff. Uh, probably the best thing I found today was that BB gun. Uh, it seems like every time I go out to that park, I'll find a part to a toy gun. And, well, I guess, I guess a BB gun is not really considered a toy gun. But uh, I know when I was growing up, it is one of the guns used to teach me responsibility with a firearm. And... Uh, I think that's kind of a lost start. I just don't think people take time to teach the kids how to use a firearm anymore. Um, it's kind of regrettable, I think, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, anyway, guys, I had fun. I hope you did too, but uh, I'll catch you all later. Bye.